Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're the Octobers. If you're new here and today we're checking out No Country for Old Men. And I'm actually really excited because I've heard of this movie throughout like my whole life, but I've never got around to seeing it. I don't know what this movie's about, but the dude on the thumbnail was looking intense, wasn't he? He was. Let's go. Let's go. No Country for Old Men. I always assume, like I always got this movie. You know that movie, uh, A Brother War though? That title. I've never actually seen the movie, but I know it's about that and this. I always picture the same thing. My dad loves that one. I was sheriff of this county when I was 25 years old. My grandfather was a lawman. Father, too. Me and him were sheriffs at the same time. Him up in Plano and me out here. Pretty cool. I think he's pretty proud of that. He killed a 14-year-old girl. Said he knew he was going to hell. Dang, they got heavy, the didn't they? Mm -hmm. Now it's hard to even take its measure. I always knew you had to be willing to die to even do this job. I don't understand. What in the... Sheriff, he had some sort of thing on him, like a oxygen tank. Why is he Even walking? Even when you get in. Yes, sir. I got under control. Oh. Man, he wouldn't turn my back to anybody. But I guess in those times, they didn't even carry a gun sometimes. Right. Well, that's the hair guy, as you see. Look at how impersonable he's being. Like, you don't even hear. Like, there's no passion to us, like you were saying. He's just... Oh, man. He's just gonna walk up out of there. Oh, that was his own wrist bleeding from. I thought that was his. Oh. I thought it was. I thought it was his neck. The guys. All right, guys. I guess it's gonna be one of those type of movies. Do you think he has it? So if you shoot him, it blows up. <laughs> uh -uh. I don't know what that is. Or he has bad asthma. We'll find out. Oh, it probably shoots fire, which is weird. Hey, but it probably shoots fire out of it. I need you to step out of the car, sir. What is that for? Would you, would you hold still, please, sir? Oh, it's a nail gun. What in the world? A nail gun oxygen tank? Gun? You hold still. Ain't oh it, man. Ain't it crazy how when he put that thing up to that guy's head, he just let him? Didn't that serial killer just like used to put people in handcuffs and they just let him? Yeah. Who was it? I mean, there's lots of serial killers who get away with that crap. But one Jeffrey was, Dahmer? <laughs> no, one was like a clown or something. Oh, Gacy. Yeah. John Wayne yeah. Gacy. So weird. I can't believe that's Thanos with the sniper. Thanos. Yeah, that's Thanos. He's just a little Western. I can see it in the chin. <laughs> he got shot the deer. Bleeding out. That sucks, man. Wow. <laughs> that would suck to come across. Somebody killed all those people. He ain't scared at all. That guy did it with his nail gun? Don't look like it. Oh, no. Nah, that was like some like some gangs or something. Like some... Like some GV for sure. Dang. When they make flies over the bodies, does that mean time has passed? Okay. You're starting to think like an editor. Like, how do we show that some time has passed? There's some flies in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh, what we got? Oh, he wants water. Why has he not moved? I ain't got no water. You just took his stuff. <laughs> oh. That explains it, right? That cocaina. So that's like some cartel activity. Speak English? Where's the last guy? I reckon I can go out the way I come in. Cierra la puerta. Hay lobos. Ain't no lobos. What's that, man? Is it because there's, there's, I guess that's the name of the gang? The lobos? Let me know in the comments how many of you guys would have took the drugs. Don't shoot my dumb ass. <laughs> but if you stop, you stop in shade. I just probably wouldn't get involved, you know? That seems like a lot more than I can handle. He came across some junk today, didn't he? He was just hunting. Where's the vehicle if he followed tire tracks, right? There you go. What a find. It's just been a good day for you, bro. Would you take it, though? You've seen all these people dead around it. Yeah, I'd take it. <laughs> <laughs> like, of course I would. Like, you think I'm about to come across that? 
Bunch of cartel dudes, dead night. About to take that. My lucky day. You wild. I feel like someone's going to track me down over that jump. Yeah, not only is the world a better place, and I got a big old bag of, bag of cash. What's funny to me is that man knew he was going to die, and he still took all that money. <laughs> That'd be heavy, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. And they're carrying that. <laughs> in the satchel it's full of money <laughs> i wasn't expecting him to be honest where'd you get the pistol at the getting place did you buy that gun no i found it you don't need to know everything carla g <laughs> <laughs> fine i don't want to know i don't even want to know where you've been all day what's her shirt a raccoon that'll work she got a rocket mm -hmm. they know some rocket yep best buds he said, keep running that big old mouth. I'm going to take you in the back room and screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to steal that line. What are you doing, baby? I'm going out. Going where? Mm. Something I forgot to do, but I'll be back. If I don't come back, you tell mother I love her. Your mother's dead, Lil' Willin. <laughs> well, then I'll tell her myself. <laughs> she didn't ask no questions. <laughs> right, it's the middle of the night. He just ran out. A big old gallon of water. I'm like, what do you have going on? <laughs> Why do you think he's going back, though? Just to save that guy? Yeah, maybe. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. That sucks, man. He knew better than to go back out there. I'd have took that cash and ran. No, I'm just kidding. He's a good guy. He did want to save that dude, I guess. Damn, he ran fast. <laughs> he ran a truck. He got shot. Oh my gosh, that is so terrifying. <laughs> I love you, puppy, but if you're coming after me like that, relentlessly. I mean, it's not ideal, man, but geez. I know, it's about to kill you. That poor dog didn't even sign up for all that, though. He said, I'm just doing my job. Hmm. This movie's wild as hell so far. <laughs> like, what is going on? What about the dude walking around shooting people in the forehead? Yeah, when's he gonna tie into this? How much? I seen you was from Dallas. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? I didn't mean nothing by it. Didn't mean nothing. Is something wrong? With what? With anything. Is there something wrong with anything? Well, we're being oh, he's things. annoying. You already asked me that. Well, I need to see about closing then. See about closing? Yes, sir. What time do you close? Now. We close now. Now is not a time. What time do you close? Generally around dark. At dark. What time do you go to bed? Sir? Why is he heckling this man? What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? I don't know. I couldn't say. Call it. For what? Just call it. Well, look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. You see where this is going? How's that? Just <laughs> tend to win everything. Enough. Call it. All right. Heads in. Mm, tails never fails, bro. I'd pick tails. Well, yeah, uh, you would have. You would have got got. Don't put it in your pocket. It's your lucky water. Where you want me to put it? Anywhere not in your pocket. <laughs> what will get mixed in with the others and become just a coin, <laughs> which it is. Very confusing. That guy's lucky day. He what just didn't know it. What the hell? <laughs> hey, Odessa. Why would we go to Odessa? Well, not we. You. You stay with your mother. What am I supposed to tell Mama? Well, she tries standing in the door and hollering, Mama, Mama. Baby, things happen. Well, I can't take him back. Have you noticed there's been no music? Yeah. In this? <laughs> like at all. This has been like a silent film. There's just sound effects. Like not even like a like a country guitar or nothing. I only noticed because, man, that's such a copyright issue like with music in <laughs> right. the videos. I wouldn't have noticed other than that, Roy. Am I riding, bitch? <laughs> this is truck. Who cut his tires? 
Mexicans, I guess. Wasn't us. Where's their receiver? I've got it. These are some ripe petunias. Ripe petunias? <laughs> Who is? You getting anything on this? Not a bleep. All right. Give me that. <laughs> Should have known better than riding with that guy. When's the county going to start paying a rental on my horse? I love you more and more every day. What's she from? Be careful. Always am. Don't get hurt. I don't know. Never do. Don't hurt no one. He's from Captain America. So. He's from a lot more than that. <laughs> but I've seen her too. I think we met her on the Marvel journey. Wouldn't think a car would burn like that. Kill that man on the highway, swapped for his car. Now here it is, and he swapped again for God knows what. <laughs> That's very linear, Sheriff. It's the same tire tread coming back as going, made about the same time, too. You can see the sights real clear. I know this truck. Belongs to a fella named Moss. Llewellyn Moss? That's the boy. You figure him for a dope runner? <laughs> I kindly doubt it. Well, this is just a deal gone wrong, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, all the drugs are gone. That Mexican brown dope. So this was earlier. Getting set to trade. Then, whoa, differences. Yeah, I thought they got in the you truck shot himself, but maybe somebody shot him. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a mess, ain't it, Sheriff? If it ain't, it'll do till the mess gets here. <laughs> Sometimes on YouTube, I feel like I, I should be back then because that's how I talk. <laughs> Just broken English. <laughs> First time I have saw that movie. <laughs> Is that just like compressed air? Yeah, it's a, it's a nail gun. <clears throat> that's like a air compressor. Somehow. I guess. He rigged it up. This dude's creepy, man. Look at that sound. Yes, sir. I'm looking for Llewellyn Moss. Sir, I ain't at liberty to give out no information about our residence. Where does he work? Did you not hear me? Like, duh, why would she just give Where he's at? car from Roberto. You can't afford one. I got a bad feeling, Llewellyn. Well, I got a good one, so that ought to even out. You gotta quit your worrying so much. Llewellyn. Yes, ma'am. You're coming back, ain't you? I shall return. Sheriff's Department. Look at that log. Look, look at that thing on top of that. What was that? The AC unit You're or something? <laughs> on the roof? I wouldn't want to step in the door. <laughs> That'd be scary. Sheriff's Department. I believe they done let a shot. When was he here, Sheriff? I don't know. Oh, Sheriff! We just missed him! <laughs> we gotta circulate this on radio. All right. That sheriff's observing, ain't he? Well, what do we circulate? Who don't drink that, bro? Looking for a man who has recently drunk milk. Ugh. Oh, shit, that's aggravating. I'm here to be there. He doesn't need labs and stuff. Yeah, he's, he's tasting where he's at. <laughs> he's got any notion of the sorts of sons of bitches that are hunting him? He's like, I don't know, he ought to. He's seen the same things I've seen, and it certainly made an impression on me. You pick the option goes with the applicable rate. I'm just one person, so it don't matter the size of the bed. <laughs> If he finds him here, that's some great detective work, honestly. Yeah. He's so paranoid. That almost makes it not worth it, you know? He had to uproot his whole life for this thing. He didn't have a whole life. He's single with no kids. Well, he's not single, but he don't, he don't have no kids. I found two million in a briefcase. And I didn't have kids. I'd be willing to live on the road. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Free HBO. Sweet. Hello? There's no well in there. No, he ain't. You expect him? Can I help you? Yeah, you got a pair of Larry Mans, a uh, shoulder size lead. Well, that's all I wear. Bathroom? Oh. <laughs> Better wear red sock. I might try a different pair of boots. Don't stop. Just ride me up past those rooms. What room? No, just drive me around. Take me to another motel. Let's just call it square. I wouldn't want to get involved either. Bro, 
he just ain't killed something in a while. He just needed to shoot a bird. <laughs> Lab reports from Austin on that boy by the highway. What was the bullet? There wasn't no bullet. Wasn't no bullet? Yes, sir. There wasn't none. Well, Wendell, with all due respect, that don't make a lot of sense. No, sir. And I fresh on that there for you, sir. Yeah, I know what you better had. <laughs> Rangers in the DEA are headed back out to the scene this morning. You gonna join him? 12 gauge. You need shells? Yeah, double O. You all got camp supplies? Well, you give me the model number on the tent, I can order you the poles. Uh, never mind, I want a tent. Well, what kind of tent? The kind with most poles. <laughs> what is he up to? <laughs> I didn't understand Sawing nothing he said over there. Why is he rigging it up like that with the duct tape? Uh, could I get another room? You want to change rooms? No, ma'am, I want to keep my room and get another one. Hey, do you have a map of the rooms? Thank you. About uh, 38. Well, you can have the one right next to yours if you want. Oh, I think I get what's going on. I know why he sawed it off. 38 will be fine. Well, it's got two double beds. Do you get it? You know what's happening? I won't spoil it for you. The cartel's after him, right? Just keep that in mind. The cartel's not that guy is. I don't know that guy. This is a sketchy bag. Do you know what that is? No, I've just been accepting it. Obviously, there's something in the briefcase. Right, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's kind of like a cool scavenger hunt, though. It's seriously worth all that. I guess. This has me on edge, dude. Are you nervous? Oh, yeah, he pushed it. So we got the room that he pushed it to. I get it. This is stressing me out. It is, me too, yeah. <laughs> He's smart, though, with the duct system moving it. And he has no shoes on because he's trying to be stealthy. No ultra silencer. Dudes really weren't playing back then, were they? No. No, I'm not there. Yeah, you gone, bro. How'd you find that? No, I'm not there. That gun is ahead of its time. too late he saw the drag mark i wasn't sure if he was in the right room or not i wasn't either because i thought he bought both the rooms i don't whoa shouldn't be doing that even a young man like you doing what hitchhiking dangerous is he saying because like the odds like you just never know mm -hmm. that's what the theme of this movie is right right just randomness you know anton Chigur by sight is that correct? Yes, yeah, sure. I know him every which way. <laughs> Did you last see him? Uh, November 28th last year. I remember dates, <laughs> names, numbers. I saw him November the 28th. You got a loose cannon here. Around a bunch of money and the other party is out his product. Okay. Just how well do you know, Shigur? Just how dangerous is it? Compared to what? The bubonic plague? He's bad <laughs> enough you called me. Yeah, he's a psychopathic killer, but so what? There's plenty of them around. I was wondering... Yes? Did you validate my parking ticket? An attempted humor, I suppose. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that about? Yeah, that was weird. Like he's part of the dirty money scam? 
I don't know. One room. Maybe he was just letting them know, like, I got leverage on you. That'll be $26. Oh. This here's for you. And I ain't asking you to do anything illegal. There's someone who's been looking for me, not police. And just call me if anyone else checks in tonight. By anyone, I mean any swinging dick. That's a weird way to put it, but all right. I would be like, uh, no, sorry, sir. <laughs> you can't stay here. There just ain't no way. I was at once. Oh. The tracker. You better leave that thing there to confuse him. Probably don't got the damn receptionist killed. Hmm. <laughs> We better hope the cleaning lady don't walk in. He should throw that tracker out the window. That guy is like, mm-mm. Yeah, I'd take that tracker and smash it against my knee. You just got to shoot on sight at this point. Yeah, he kept it moving. He's smart. Well played. Oh, I knew it was coming, too. Oh, he's going to be dead for real. Dang. Oh, he got hit. It's making me hurt. Why would you approach it? I'd have ran his ass over. <laughs> Need you to drive me on out of here. <laughs> Dang it, man. Good thing no one's outside. Yeah, that place is a damn ghost town. This is too much for some money, man. These days, you park in your own driveway, and if your tires are in the grass, they'll have three cops out there. They're just running around the city. Oh, we cut the end off to make it a short range weapon, right? To give it more range, yeah. To make it wider. Because at, at first, I think he thought that he was going to have to shoot multiple cartel members, you know? Mm hmm I could be wrong. Not wasting it. <laughs> and you want the silencer on yours. That's loud as a mess. Does he even have the money on him? Didn't he just leave it? Yeah, he left it. Oh, there he goes. Well, yeah, I was about to say it's in the truck. No. Were you in a car accident? Give you 500 bucks for that coat. Let me see the money. Mm -mm. Okay, give me the money. It's right here. Give me the clothes. Uh, let him hold the money. No, what if you run off? I'd be like, nah, because my money's more valuable than your coat. Give me that beer, too. Brian, give him the beer. Isn't there a border agent right there? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was just different times back then. <laughs> you had freedom. You was allowed to just walk around back then. Oh my gosh. He's like dying, but still caring about the money.
the first music in this whole thing is a lot of music. A mariachi band. But why are they just singing to him? Is that how they keep people off the streets in Mexico or something? <laughs> Let it go. Mm. A bloody American hundo? Like, why would you even want that? I feel like he's too old for that haircut. Don't you? It's giving off, like, Willy Wonka vibes for sure. Mm, yeah. Or Velma from Scooby-Doo. Jinkies. He's just raising hell in this sweet little town. He's like, somebody's got to do it. What are you doing, huh. brother? So they'll be distracted. Man, he doesn't really overthink things, does he? Mm -mm. He just hops right in. He said, they ain't that smart. Let's make an explosion. I know. He lives in, like, dumbassville. <laughs> Everyone's just so simple there. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, he's leaking, too. Oh. Oh. You've done this a few times, we see. Yeah, he even got good at stealing the medicine, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Ooh. This is a lot of work to be a serial killer, ain't it? I mean, you're definitely living in the present when you're like that. Any word on those vehicles yet? The owner of that Bronco's been dead 20 years. You want me to see what I can find out about the Mexican ones? Oh, no, Lord, no. That DEA agent called again. Wanted to know if you wanted to go with him. That's cordial, love. <laughs> Yeah? You looked at your load lately? Oh, that is a damn outrage. <laughs> well, those tie downs work loose. How many bodies did you leave with? I ain't lost none of them, Sheriff. <laughs> Isn't that bodies? He's corn. Yeah, he's the uh, the coroner, I guess. Wayne is still taking him. Don't worry. I'm not the man who's after you. I know that. I've seen him. You've seen him. Man, you're not dead. What's this guy supposed to be? The ultimate badass? His name's Shigur. Sugar. Sugar. Anton Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> Look, you gotta give me this money. I got no other reason to protect you. Uh, it's too late. I spent it. Got a million and a half on the horse and whiskey, <laughs> and the rest of it just sort of blew it in. How do you know he's not on his way to Odessa? That ain't funny, is it? Why would he uh -uh. go to Odessa? Kill your wife. Maybe he's the one who needs to be worried about me. He isn't. He was so stoic about finding him, it almost seemed like he was looking for him. I'm crossing mm -hmm. river. You know what I mean? Eagle. Carson Wells. If I was into cutting deals, why wouldn't I just deal with this guy, Sugar? Oh, no. <laughs> you don't understand. You can't make a deal with him. Even if you gave him the money back, he'd still kill you just for inconveniencing him. He's a peculiar man. I don't know where he is. You had not heard from him? No, I ain't. Nothing? Not word one. Would you tell me if you had? The point being that even in the contest between man and steer, the issue is not certain. She didn't get it at all. Well, <laughs> calls. Just tell him I can make him safe. No Damn. shot. Man, I'd have made a bigger face than that. Do you think he wants some money for himself? Mm. No, nah, not for himself. They didn't even say what he was. The DEA. Is he a DEA agent? I think so. They didn't really specify that, right? They just brought him in. Well, they said someone wants to work with a, a DEA agent, and I don't. I never knew. Oh, he said that. Mm -hmm. Hello, Carson. Let's go to your room. You don't have to do this. I'm a day trader. Take you to an ATM, there's 14 grand in it. <laughs> and everybody just walks away. It will be brought to me and placed under my feet. You don't know to a certainty. 20 minutes, it could be here. I do know to a certainty. You should admit your situation. Do you have any idea how crazy you are? <laughs> you mean the nature of this conversation? Like when you're trying to talk deep and nobody's you. into it? Mm -hmm. You could have the money, Anton. That thing's loud. <laughs> he only did that coin thing one time. Hello? Yes. Is uh, Carson Wells there? <laughs> Not in the sense that you mean. He's so annoying. 
I know, you could just be like, this is him. Who is this? You know who it is. You're in the hospital across the river. But that's not where I'm going. Do you know where I'm going? Yeah, I know where you're going. <laughs> All right. So this is what I'll offer. You bring me the money and I'll let her go. I decided to make you a special project of mine. You ain't gonna have to come look for me at all. None of the three had ID on them, but they tell me that all three's Mexicans. Was Mexicans. There's a question. <laughs> Whether they <stopped. laughs> Here last week, they found this couple out in California. They rent out rooms to old people, kill them, bury them in the yard, cash their social security checks. Well, they'd torture them first. That's crazy, man. I don't know why. You can't make up such a thing as that. I dare you to even try. But that's what it took, you notice. Get somebody's attention. Digging graves in the backyard didn't bring any. <laughs> yeah, that one guy set a car on fire. Nobody even said anything to him. Right. I feel like they're corrupt. Oh, I feel like he is. It's all right. I laugh myself sometimes. Well, he's just a realist. I mean, a whole lot else you can do. No, when he's all those bodies, he just looks like whatever. Then I ask you again, how you come to be out here with no clothes? <laughs> oh, I got an overcoat on. Are you jacking with me? Oh, no, sir. Don't jack with me. Yes, sir. Get someone to help this man. He needs to get into town. <laughs> He's serving, um, appreciate you. You know, a lot of people come in here without any clothes on? No, sir. It's unusual. <laughs> <laughs> he likes that business, huh? Yeah, he likes what they have to offer at that place. He said, damn, that's some damn good cowboy apparel <laughs> right here. Cowboys are us. Yes, she does. Put her on. Do you know what time it is? I don't care what time it is, and don't you hang up this phone. <laughs> I had the sheriff here from Terrell County. What'd you tell him? What did I know to tell him? You're hurt, ain't you? Well, look, I want you to meet me at the Desert Sands Motel in El Paso. I ain't gonna leave you in the lurch. No, look, this works better. <laughs> if you're gone and I don't have the money, you can't touch me, but I can sure touch him. What am I supposed to do with Mother? You no, know, she'll be all right. She'll be all right? There ain't nobody gonna bother her. <laughs> Man, you better attack, bro. That dude's just standing there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I would run out immediately. <laughs> I'd get my hands on that gun. Like, he's not even looking at him. Nobody. Accounting. You going to shoot me? Do you see me? It ain't even three years we've been married. Three years ago, I said them very words. No and good. Mm -hmm. Here we are. <laughs> 90 degree heat. I got the cancer. Uh oh. You need help with the bugs, mother. Yes, thank you. I am old and I am not well. Which bus are you taking? <laughs> going to El Paso. Don't ask me why. You go to El Paso? I know it. Where are you staying? Oh. Carla Jean, how are you? Sheriff, was that Straight a took advantage of that old lady. I know. <laughs> if I tell you where Llewellyn's headed, you promise it'll be just you who goes and talks with him? Yes, ma'am, I do. He never thinks he needs any. Carla Jean, I will not harm you, man. What's the problem there, neighbor? <laughs> Yep. That'll suck some power. See, man, I hate to say it, but that's why you Over just don't time. stop for people anymore. <laughs> what airport would you use? Where are you going? I don't know. Brother, I've been there. <laughs> well, the airport is El Paso. Can you get those chicken grates out of the bed? What are you talking about? Oh, so he basically just needed a new vehicle. Basically, yeah. Hey, Mr. Sporting Goods. Hey, yourself. <laughs> You sport. I was about to say, like, is it normal to just walk around like that? I got beers in my room. I'm waiting on my wife. Just, uh, looking for what's coming. Beer. That's what's coming. No, oh, ma'am, I, I know what beer leads to. <laughs> beer leads to more beer. It's a confident woman right there. <laughs> Beware. Did they shoot him? I think There's so. There's no way. Oh, man. Call the police. That lady didn't set him up, did she? I don't know what's, what's happening. She was like awfully flirtatious. Wait, we were supposed to have a big showdown with the serial killer with him. We got robbed of that. You can tell he'd done that before, too. He just took his hat off. Mm-hmm. No money in his room there? Couple hundred on his person. Money in the drugs. It's just goddamn beyond everything. What's they thought it was bad back then. 
I'd see children walking the streets of our Texas towns with green hair, bones in their noses. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't have believed you. Signs and wonders. But I think once you quit hearing sir and ma'am, the rest is soon to follow. Oh, no. <laughs> There's truth to that, y'all. Yeah, well, what would you call him? You know, sometimes I think he's pretty much a ghost. It's hard to believe. How do you defend against it? Yeah, good trip, Ed Tom. Sorry we couldn't help you, boy. His name's Ed Tom? <laughs> I wouldn't go there. He just told him he comes back. <laughs> I'm still not quite sure what the motivation of the serial killer is, though. The money. Well, yeah, but, like, he seems to not really, like, care about money. I don't know. It's weird. We'll break it down, y'all. That's all he cares about is money? He doesn't seem like he wants to live, like, that type of life. He just wants to... We'll see. He's playing his odds too. He's either there or he's not. He said, bump these odds. Didn't at the beginning he didn't carry a gun? Mm, I'm not sure if he decided to or not. But he did talk about it. But he was just saying, like, the times are changing, right? Mm hmm <laughs> Who's that coin? Damn, man, why you let the cat out? How many of them things you got now? Cats? Oh, I don't know, several. Some of them are half wild. Some of them are just... Outlaws. <laughs> How you been, Ellis? You're looking older. I am older. Got a letter from your wife. She writes me pretty regular. Uh -huh. Keeps me up on the family news. Didn't know there was any. Told me you're quitting. You want a cup? Appreciate it. I wouldn't want a cup from there. <laughs> that was like a boring life for that guy, man. I generally make a fresh pot every week, even if there's some left over. That man that shot you, you died in prison. Yeah. What'd you done? He'd have been released. Oh, I don't know. Nothing. Loretta tells me you're quitting. How come you're doing that? I don't know. I feel overmatched. So he was shot in the line of duty, huh? I always figured when I got older, God would sort of come into my life somehow. And he didn't. I don't blame him. This country's hard on people. You can't stop what's coming. It ain't all waiting on you. That's vanity. Aww. This movie's just really dark, man. There's not a lot of light. There's not a lot of light shining through this one, guys. Oh, oh no. man. I ain't got the money. I buried my mother today. Ain't paid for that, neither. You don't care about any don't of that. worry about it. You don't have to do this. People always say the same thing. Okay. Oh no. Here we go. This is the best I can do. Tails never fails. Call it. What you got? I say tails. I always say tails. I got though. tails. I ain't gonna call it. Call it. The coin don't have no say. It's just you. Well, I got here the same way the coin did. By random chance? You traveled? Oh god, what happened? Is he looking for a blood trail? Yeah, it appears that way. Oh, wow. Was that on purpose or was that just chance? I guess he, I guess he flipped the wrong side of the coin on that one. Yeah, if you're a good guy, you're not walking out of that. But a villain, of course All you day. can. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, his arms broke. There's an ambulance coming. The man over yonder went to call. All right. Are you all right? You got a bone sticking out your arm. What did you take for the shirt? Well, hell, mister. I give you my shirt. Oh, he's about to take off, probably. 
He's very chill. Mm. Uh, hell, mister. Look, I don't mind helping someone out. Take it and You didn't see me. I was already gone. No part of that's mine, Franklin. You still got your damn shirt. Ain't even what it was for. Well, maybe, but I'm still out of shirt. I mean, he's taking a gunshot, held it himself. I'm sure a broken arm ain't nothing. Minus all the infection that's gonna set in. That's all right. How'd you sleep? Had dreams. Anything interesting? That's Jesse's mom on Breaking Bad. Um. All right then. Two of them. Both had my father in them. It's peculiar. I'm older now than he ever was by 20 years. The second one going through the mountains of the night. It was cold and there was he had his blanket. Mm. He's fixing to make a fire somewhere out there and all that dark and all that cold. And I knew that whenever I got there, he'd be there. And then I woke up. That was heavy too. Oh my God, is it over? <laughs> Bro, what in the world? All right, guys, I don't want to pause or any of that. Um. So right out of this movie, man, baby, your first thoughts of this movie go. Um, I just thought it the whole time it was pretty dark. Uh, I, when you kind of think of the title, No Country for Old Men, I guess that's kind of why that sheriff was involved because it, it, the sheriff was just kind of like showing all the like the guy's crimes. I guess that was the only reason he was there because or just to show like how like corrupt life has gotten. I I don't know. Like that was really a. So yeah. no country for it's saying this is no longer a country for old men, meaning like the old generation, the generation of not locking your door, not carrying a gun. Those right. times are over because now we got psycho freaks running around yeah. just killing at random. Yeah. yeah, that's what I got from it. Right. Does it go any deeper than that? Is there anything else? I mean, because you know me, I'm about to jump in. Well, this is my type of thing. Other so. than other than that guy that like, OK, so when I watched the trailer, you know, however long, I guess the reason I didn't watch this movie was because I thought the guy would just go around to different people and be like heads or tails. And yeah, would, you thought he was yeah, just going to be I thought a completely... he was just like a like a like a you know like a typical criminal that just like walks around and like plays games with people. Right. But it was more than that, which I wasn't expecting honestly. Based off the trailer, you kind of see it and that's what you think you're about to get into. So I'm glad I watched it. It was very it was very interesting. Um it was a good movie. Absolutely. What did you think? Okay, so this is one of those type of movies, man. Uh I guess everyone's worldview is going to interpret this movie a little different. Um, just depending on how you think, uh, me personally, I like to think like, I wouldn't say I'm like a thinker or anything like that. Cause it makes it sound like I think I'm all smart. I don't think I'm all smart, but I just enjoy like human nature. Like I enjoy the concepts and philosophy, you know, to me, this movie was all about nihilism. So that's just a, it's a concept, you know, that everyone should be familiar with at this point, especially if you're an adult, but so just a very nihilistic movie. It was basically saying that it was basically just showing that even in a country where Things are great and blah, blah, blah. There was this character and he seemed to just operate at random. Like he keeps saying like, well, the coin made its way to you. And it's all just been a complete random road of coincidences to get here. And he's basically saying like, there's really no order to the universe. Right, like Everything you can't is make completely sense of random. It. Exactly. Yeah. And it just goes to show like with all the cartel stuff, they're saying like, when did all this happen? They can't really make sense of that. Not only like do they operate for like drugs and money, but the way they like would torture people and just how like brutal and vicious they can be. It's just saying like there seems to be a world that on the surface seems to be so well put together, but underneath there's really not a lot of reasoning to it. Yeah. And so it just seemed like that type of thing to me, man. The guy just sort of seemed like a narcissist and he also seemed like a nihilist and he also seemed like a materialist. And it was funny because the other guy who we found under the tree also seemed to be a materialist. So he spent his final hours of his life clinging to a bag of money that he knew he was never going to get to spend. But because, so did Llewellyn. Exactly. Yeah. And so did Llewellyn. But it really goes to show. And ultimately, the, the psycho killer in this one, man, he was chasing the money. So it really goes to show three different per perspectives on like three completely different type of way. Like one guy kills like for money and drugs yeah. and greed and power and structure. Another guy kills for sport, I guess you could say. Yeah. And he also wants money in the same type of way for mm -hmm. materialistic, self-indulging reasons. And then the and then the killer comes along and he and he has his own different set of motives. So it was very interesting in that way. It was interesting mm -hmm. there was no music in right. this movie. Uh there was just was a lot of sound different. effects and wind, which was really cool. Um Did it ever say well, I know it said a little bit about his nail gun thing, or I know you it did was that to with kill animal. cattle. 
Well, I know it's to kill cattle. I know that. Well, I like know that. I've never seen that, but I I've know that. I've heard that before. But um, did it ever say why he chose that as like a quiet weapon or something? Well, I think because it's really good for knocking the center of locks out of doors, mm -hmm. as you saw a lot in the yeah. movie. So that's really good. And also, it's just a silent weapon. And when you walk up to someone with a gun, they was talking about with the cattle. They would walk up to the cattle to essentially kill the cattle right and the cattle would panic yeah and then they were saying that sometimes like people would get hurt so what they discovered is if you just walk up and or you know be nice and walk up with that little nail gun they won't see it coming and it's easier you know right um, and they also don't feel it or something and it like goes like it immediately kills them right so i don't know if he was doing like that that's why in a way i thought he was doing that out of like a merciful way but you're still killing somebody that's not merciful yeah so he a lot of his actions were a little like confusing to me because they didn't dive too much into his life. But that's the point of the movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like well, I'm not supposed to really understand. Right. The That guy was basically when you take someone who looks at life and there's no there's no purpose, there's no higher order to the universe. There's no God. There's no any of that. I mean, when you take it to its extreme, when you know, there's a saying, right? Questioning reality will lead you to madness. That is completely true. And guys, not to get too preachy, but I genuinely believe, man. If you're someone who's sitting there questioning reality, why are we here? What's our purpose? There's no meaning to anything. Why do good things happen to bad people? When you sit there and you question reality like that, I'm not saying be blind. I'm not saying don't ask questions. But when you sit there and try to question it, you'll go crazy. It'll stress you questioning out. Questioning sure. reality leads you to madness. We are not capable of understanding true reality at its fundamental level. We'll never be able to understand that. We're just four-dimensional beings in this reality. We'll never understand that. But... It is human nature, though, to do so. We do have this problem in our conscious and our in our psyche as humans, man. And it's it's why our society sucks in so many ways. It's why everything's falling apart. It's why so many people are depressed and miserable. Nihilism is the most selfish form of thought to me. It is the most unattractive form of thought. That's what happens when you're a nihilist like that, man. You get in your head and everything becomes about you. It becomes about it's all about you. It's about your place in the universe. And it's just it's a selfish mentality, man. So this guy was just so one who obviously was just caught in his own head and he just questioned everything and he questioned himself right into being crazy i think that's just the truth right i will say though in the title no country for old men there is truth to it even today because like i've told you before my papa passed away before covid and i like honestly like i loved my papa and all this but i just like during these times i feel like he would really be struggling like he would really not be happy in these times there's just a lot more rush and a lot like there's just a lot more going on yeah. in his Turn time on. he's like a farmer so you know what i'm saying he's like has a very slow paced life so anything now would kind of stress them out so i kind of agree with the title in a way yeah i mean i definitely think that there was something romantic about the movie in the sense that they were in the middle of town and there was nobody there right i mean we went to the aquarium the other day we took my son to the aquarium and it was we went as soon as the place opened up the georgia aquarium man and it was shoulder to shoulder it was like a panic attack elbow to elbow <laughs> exactly it was just a panic attack waiting to happen and i mean you know i get it's not the 50s anymore man like there's more people, but it's just hard to imagine where it's going, you know, because it's just so crowded. Like every time I drive, I get frustrated. There's so much traffic. Right. I don't but, know, but without the music and like all the like main things in the movie, they kind of made it seem like a like I told you when I said when we were talking about watching this movie, I was like, oh, it's an old Western because that's how they kind of like show it. But they use a lot of but it's like takes place in the 80s or something. Yeah. So like there that's a kind of another way to like show the title like in that in that life in that yeah. way i guess really crazy movie i mean i'm sure i'm sure i'll have so many more thoughts on it as it goes but basically my only thoughts are this movie was just showing that if you're someone who sits in your own head and everything's about you and if you just have that nihilistic mentality man eventually you'll go crazy because there's really nothing good that's going to come from it it's very self-serving and it's you know it just raises the question if someone is completely has a completely healthy brain and they sit there all day long on Facebook and look at stuff that upsets them and they become crazy. Is it because they're mentally ill or do they just look at too much garbage on Facebook? Do you get what I'm saying? And it's just one of those things, man. This movie sort of hit that point on the head. You know, this seemed like a guy. He didn't seem crazy. He seemed thought out, rational, calculated, calm, controlled. But he just developed this this unhealthy thought pattern, man. And I, I guess that's what it comes down to. So I really enjoyed the movie, man. I love movies like this. Uh, sorry to get preachy, but at the end of the day, it's just my job to break the movie down the best way I see it. And, and the way you interpret it. And I can only interpret it a truthful way, guys. I mean, you know, if you know, no offense about the nihilistic thing. If you're a nihilistic thinker out there, that's okay. I'm sure you're not like this guy, but 
Probably not the most healthiest thing. That's all I'm trying to say. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one.